So here we go. This is, well, this is my first spotted salamander of the season. And uh, they're definitely coming out to breed. Uh, I actually think this one might be a male. And if you look at the spots, the patterning, that's the fingerprint. Okay, each one of these amphibians, each one of these spotted salamanders has a unique pattern, just like our fingerprints, um, or like the markings on a turtle. So if I find this one again, I just compare photos and I can tell. See that one spot on the toe? And by the way, they have four toes up front and then five in the back. That's characteristic. Yet the four-toed salamander has four toes on the front feet and on the rear feet, which makes it semi-unique. Um, but this is the spotted salamander. They get a little bit bigger than this. This one is about seven inches long. Um, they can reach eight or eight and a half inches. Beautiful species. But listen to that chorus. What is that? Yeah, that's none other than the beautiful symphony of the spring peepers and the wood frogs. And they are singing strong into the environment. They find vernal pools like this, which are essential to their, their breeding habitat. These are their mating calls and territorial calls. They use them in to, you know, to lure in mates. You know, there's all the males singing. Strongly to the females, they'll hear that chorus, they'll come here and find the vernal pools, and then the breeding begins. So here's another spotted. And this one's a little bit smaller. This is probably, this one's young. Uh, I have no idea about their age, but uh, this is probably a boy, actually. Oh, it might be a girl, actually. It might be kind of swollen. But they're very dry right now. I'm wetting my hands. Um, but they're rather, they're really dry. Even though we had rain a couple days ago, we're still in a pretty significant drought.